All right, guys. I am at the ferry in Alameda. Uh, one, uh, Carlosita woke up early this morning and <laughs> wanted to go around San Francisco. So he took the ferry from Alameda to the San Francisco Bay. Now he is back uh, and I'm supposed to pick him up right now. Okay, so we are here live at the ferry and I'm supposed to pick him up. So let's see what happens. And then we'll probably go eat. And then we're gonna get ready to go to San Jose. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready to go to San Jose. Do not enter there, let's see. Yeah, go to San Jose tonight. Uh, it's at 8.30, the workshops, until 10.30. And then tomorrow in Alameda from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And then 8 o'clock to 2 a.m. at the Berkeley Bachata Social at night. Now you gotta remember guys, each workshops that he will be teaching uh, this weekend are all different, okay? So if you want, don't wanna miss all the workshop he is teaching, take it. But if you only want a particular title of the workshop, it's all in the details, okay? So I'm waiting for him right now. Uh, where the hell is he? I'm gonna be at the front door right here. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, he is sporting a beard, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the whole entire beard. What is he, Copernic or something? What is it, a Nike uh, that says just do it or something? Jeez. Here he goes. Uh, dude. Come on. Come on, here. stick? Yeah, it's a stick. Is that a selfie stick? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like a vlogger nowadays. You look like Copernic, dude. What the hell? Are you Are you going to be on a Nike ad? Okay, that's not Nike. Anyway. So, what did you see? People said that, but I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. You don't see it. Don't so, how was it? Where'd you go? Uh, Fisherman's Wharf. I got a, I got a bag. Of? For some training equipment that I got. In. Nice. It's Wait, is store. it cheaper there or is it in Chinatown? Oh, yeah. You went to China. Chinatown? Well, Chinatown is a lot better. I didn't go to Chinatown because we're, we're just going to bike over here. But, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, you woke up early this morning and I was still asleep. Yeah, I was up at 6. Well, I, I forgot your time, bro. Your time is like Chicago time, which is three hours behind, I believe. Two. Two, Two hours ahead. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, how many times you've been in San Francisco? I heard you grew up here or something. Or were you born, I was born here? here? I was born here, yeah. Bro, you were born here? And I talked to my mother earlier today. I actually lived in Alameda. Bro, I love yeah. that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's crazy. good. Crazy. Love it. So tonight, we're going to be teaching at 8.30. Uh, you're teaching Island Movements and then Partner Work, right? Yes. 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, people could pay $40 at the door at the Akayama Wellness Center. Tomorrow, you're teaching the, the my favorite, which is from 1 to 3, which is the musicality class. Musicality. I remember when you started this shit, man. Yeah. And you keep building it, building it. I think you started 2009, 2010. Well, it started on accident in 2009. Yeah. Figured I could actually make something of it in 2010. And then you brought in, you really did your research to a point you brought in Juan Soriano, Soriano yeah. and the group. I remember that breakdown. That was one of the classic. Uh, do, you, do you know a lot of promoters reject that class and don't, and don't want it? Because they're stupid. They don't know anything. <laughs> how many stupid promoters do you know anyway? <laughs> no, we've been in this scene. Like, how how long did you start Bachata? Because I could go back as far as 2003. <laughs> and both of you and I, <laughs> you and I started the way, the westernized version of Bachata then. And then, then we found the truth. Yeah, I would say, yeah, that's how I started out. Yeah, definitely. And then, yeah. and then I went to DR in 2010. And I was like, oh, shit. This, <laughs> hmm, this is different. Okay. Yeah. I got to ask you this question. What made you choose it? Because I have my own story. Uh, Edwin has his. I'm sure you have yours. Choose to change? To change, yeah. A lot of different reasons. So one, um, 
first that I felt that if I'm trying to represent a culture that's not mine, I figure I would at least need to, to do it some justice and, you know, represent it accurately. Not to say that anything else is bad or wrong, yeah. but, you know, it's just it's just how I chose to go about doing it. Plus, at the same time, I would always come up with all these turn patterns and combinations, but I would forget them. <laughs> uh, I have, I have uh, seven DVDs. I don't remember anything that's on any of them, any of them. So a good friend of mine, Kathy, she's from uh, from Puerto Rico. So Kathy, uh, she, um, I met her at uh, in San Diego. It, it was called Club Caribe. What up, JP? Yeah. But it's called La Luz Ultra Lounge now. But anyway, so uh, you know we danced. She was straight from the islands. You know they were the military, and she just had a whole different way of dancing, and it was movie and groovy. I was like, wow, this is sweet. Yep. So then you know just dancing with her and hanging around her, and then hanging around all the Dominicans because every Sunday. After after the club, we would go out and play. Uh, we would play softball. So all the Dominicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Venezuelans, the Mexicans, just pretty much everybody that would hang out at the club, we would all play softball on Sunday all day long. Yeah. And then, you know, people bring the radio. People, you know, they were part of their own music. They would have food, and we would just play baseball. And I'm like, wow. So you know, I, I, then I started to realize the music they're listening to is different, and the way they're dancing is different. Yeah. And so then I just became intrigued after that. And then so the what I like about it is that. I connect with the music right then and there in the moment. I don't have to remember anything. Yeah. I just react to what I'm hearing. By feel and all yeah. that stuff, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's why that's why I changed. So I like it. Yeah, it's pretty similar to what happened to me. It's just a matter of me saying it in one sentence. I feel it more. That's just basically yeah. it. You know, yeah. right? I, the other one, I don't feel it. So it's almost like an awkward type yeah. of respond to something you know yeah. which for me was not real and so that's that's the reason i changed yeah that, that the, the, you know the modern stuff is for me i like to listen to it it's okay to listen to full laundry eat chill you know road trip but the the island stuff is what really make makes me want to dance hey bro so, uh what yeah. do you want to eat you want to eat thai or you want to eat in and out i don't eat in and out that stuff is terrible Bro, it's terrible. That's the most natural thing, the man. Natural? What? I eat four by two. Uh, that's, that's four patties yeah. with two uh, cheese. How about this? Is that on the menu? No, it's not on the menu. <laughs> no. <laughs> there would be no in and out going. I tried it <laughs> when I was in LA. I tried yeah. it. You but, didn't like it. No. It, 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 it. All so right. I, all right. I, I guess we're going Thai food, dude. We're, we're going. not feed that to a dog. All right. No. We're, we're, we're going Thai Listen, food. When y'all come to Chicago, <laughs> check out Portillo's. Portillo's, you heard it. What is he? It? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a fast food restaurant, but it's like an upscale, bougie fast food restaurant. Everything they have on that menu is delicious. Not one bad thing. All right. All right. Or if you're on the East Coast and they got them in Chicago now, Shake Shack. No. Yeah, Shake Shack. Shake Shack, yeah. Check out Shake Shack. But I can't do... They, they, have, the, they, have, that, they have that in Hawaii, bro. Oh, oh it's, it's delicious. It's fucking awesome. It's delicious. Yeah. But, yeah. I actually I, just ate, but I, but I, you, I, what, I, had, I had a thing of clam chowder and those... What those time did you eat? Shrimp. Couple hours ago. Okay, so yeah, we'll wait for really about an hour or something. Then we'll eat again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know where Patty's out? That's where you're doing the workshop, dude. Uh, it's cool the music space. out there working. It's pretty good. It's a cool space. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah. And we did a Kizomba workshop there, but oh, really? other than that, dude, we've been in this business for a while. What do you think that. is the best way to promote what we're passionate about, which is, of course, traditional bachata? Oh, we're here. Yeah. Um. I think would be well. One is to not jam it down people's throats. Yeah, yeah. Because then they. Just... I got a lot of heat for that when I made the video too. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of heat. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna reject it because they don't. Um, they they've been brought up one way, and so when you try to say, when people try to say no, the way you've been brought up is wrong or incorrect. You're supposed to do it. This is how it's supposed to be. That's a bad way. Yeah. That's a bad way to do that. But my point in that, and 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 I I sympathize with you, is that look, it wouldn't hurt to everyone to be in one place so that they could choose whatever right. they feel, whatever they like. That's right. that's the idea, but not to necessarily alienate them. Yeah. As right. they alienate us. Yeah, you know? But 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 and we're the jerks. We're we're the assholes. Well, because we're the snobs. Right. <laughs> Supposedly, right? Because <laughs> I don't know. But don't anyways, know. you know, this is the reason why I'm still promoting. And you know my passion about this. I'm still promoting uh, profit or loss. You know this as as you have been teaching for me for a long fucking time. Right. <laughs> and so uh, 
you know, that's that's the only way I'm going about it. I was I just made a video about organizing a festival. Mm. I said, if your goal is to make a lot of money, if your goal is to make uh, a lot of friends, don't get into this business. Yeah, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> don't get into like this business. <laughs> and it's not just that. If your goal is to be just like everyone else, don't do this business. Why are you going to start something that everyone else is doing it? When I started this, my vision was to introduce bachata, okay? Yeah. Now that everyone knows bachata, right? Yeah. My vision is to just introduce and appreciate traditional bachata. That's it. That's it. I, I think it also needs to be introduced properly. Yeah. Um, you know, again, when a lot of people will complain that, oh, I don't like the twingy, 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 it's too much twingy, twingy. But again, not every song is like that. Also, oh, it's too fast. Well, not every song is 2,000 yep. beats per minute. So, <laughs> oh, but I don't like all the footwork. Well, not everything is footwork. So oh it's, just, it's just how people are being introduced to it and how they're being present, how it's presented to them. And then they, they realize, well, the music's too fast. I can't keep up with this. So I'm just going to go to Central, forget all this. And I don't like the way it sounds. But there's a whole lot of music that sounds extremely similar to the modern sound. It's a lot yep. softer. Let me ask you one final question because you're DJ Chizam. Chizam, is that how you pronounce it? I, I go back and forth, but now, now it's DJ Trece. ¿Qué pasó? Why? I don't know. What's, I, the, what's I the meaning? <laughs> Three C's. Okay. Carlos Cinta, El Cirujano. If you can pick top five uh, bachata that's balanced that you would like to dance in one hour, only top five, what are they? Songs or artists? Artists. And, and, and say faster, say fast or slow. Define balance. Balance? In, in the way your definition of balance. It's not my definition. As a it's DJ. you're using it so I know. As a DJ. Mean? As a DJ. So when I, what would I play? Mm -hmm. That's like an in-betweener? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's soothing to both ears? Yep, yep, yep. Artist. Okay. Artist, it's got to be Sacarilla's new stuff, Frank Reyes new stuff. Uh, Raulin's newer stuff. Yeah, I can't really get with Anthony Santos' new stuff. That's just me. I don't like Anthony Santos' new stuff. Bro. That's just me. Like, yeah. I, need the I old get bored with it. Yeah, and, I like to read uh, a little bit because he balances it with speed. You know, sometimes speed fast, sometimes right. slow. Yeah. I know there's more. Do you like Aventura's old stuff? Classic. I How love can it. I not like it. I love it. That's why we all started in the first place <laughs> yeah. because of them. Anybody that says that they're a hypocrite. That's how no, you started. No, uh, you started with you started with Aventura. I started with Monchi and Alexandra, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember the Monchi yeah. songs, but yeah. it, it was really what Aventura was, that got me really hooked onto it. Yeah, it was it was a new twist. Yeah. With 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 still the traditional sense of it, which is mm -hmm. really good. So anyways, hey guys, we'll see you all tonight uh, and then tomorrow, okay? All right. All right. All right.